the abstract is a very important part of your thesis or of your research paper. The key point in the abstract is to be brief. That is to keep it very short. An abstract should allow the reader to very quickly see what are the content of the article. Of course, the title did this a bit, but this will be a bit more. A well-prepared abstract can be the most important single paragraph in an article. That is, when somebody reads your abstract, that may be the only thing they read. For sure, when they're looking for papers, they're going to be reading abstracts, probably before they download or see any paper. So this really is the most important part of your paper. The abstract will be very dense with information. And what does dense mean? Dense means every sentence is just full of your variables and the meaning and the idea, the methodology in the paper. It's very compact. It's hard to read, but that's okay and basically people are looking at the abstract to get the whole idea of the paper. There's no surprises in your paper, in other words. Inside the abstract you can include key words and you want to be very accurate and as detailed as possible. You should be non-evaluative. Non-evaluative. What does non-evaluative mean? Non-evaluative. This is a great little word. Non-evaluative here meaning don't judge or don't say, this is a great research or this is the number one research of all time. This is the best research. This research was good but not good enough. You skip all of that. It's just the facts. You're really trying to stick with the facts. So you want to emphasize keeping the paper readable, keeping the paper uh, easy to understand, and in the abstract, exactly the same idea. Don't go off on some crazy direction saying, things that are weird. Keep it very concise. Here are some things you can include with your abstract. Let me just run down through them. Here we go. Include these points. The problem under investigation. That is, what is it you're actually studying, right? The participants, what was your sample? The essential features, what were the key parts of the methodology? Did you use a sample? Did you use a survey? Did you do a direct experimentation? Did you use some kind of chemical analysis? What are the basic findings? What were the basic results? Not the detail, but just the basics. And when you give these, you can include things like your statistical tests, your sample size, your confidence intervals. Confidence intervals meaning how much deviation is there? What's the standard deviation? How much probability is there that things are wrong? And your significant levels, of course. You can include these, but very short, not the detail. And of course, you can come up with your conclusion and your implications. So in your abstract, you've got a lot to do, don't you? Right here are the key points that you're going to be including. And it looks to me like that is more than I could handle, right? And so, in fact, your abstract is written the very, very last of everything else you do. After your thesis is completely done, packaged up, and all finished, then you begin writing an abstract. And it can take many days to write a good abstract because you really do need to focus. You really do need to get it dense, really squash down your whole thesis down to just this short space. It's not, not an easy thing to do. I've spent many a days on abstracts.